What's up everybody, welcome back to Double T Gaming, another 2K video, and I know it's kind of late in 2K to be actually putting this video up, because it's been out for almost like, almost like 12 months, or that's a year, almost like 9 months, and probably everyone knows how to do this, but I've still been getting a lot of questions about how exactly I got my court in NBA 2K16. So if you don't know, this court is called Terminal 23, it's based off an actual court in New York City called Terminal 23, it's like a live, it's like a video game replica of it. And it's like a Jordan brand thing, and my dude is Michael Jordan, so, you know, I figured the court needs to fit. So, yeah. But, basically, it takes a long time to get this court, but I think it's the best looking court in the game. No matter, like, what kind of customization you have, I think just, it's awesome. I love it. But, anyway, you get this court through connections. So, first off, you need to have, a, I think it's at least 250,000 fans, or maybe it's 450,000 fans. But, the first connection is Carmelo Anthony. And through Carmel Anthony's connection, you get 200 VC, a signature shoe, and a signed jersey for my court. Now this connection in particular doesn't really take that long to get. Like if I like what I did, I legit just played my season through and through, and I probably got it maybe a couple months into the season. It's not, it does not take as long as the other ones do. But after you finish Carmel Anthony's connection, you get uh, it opened up Spike Lee's connection. For Spike Lee's connection, you get 2,000 VC, a signature shoe, and a signed jersey. This one, it takes a little bit longer than the other ones, so I would probably just sim to like a bunch of off days in the week. But be careful not to sim through a uh, connection or ignore a connection because if you do that enough, to, I think it's like three times in a season, they actually will not talk to you until next season because they're, they're mad at you for not hanging out with them. Happened plenty of times, a lot of people, and just be sure to watch that. Okay, so after you get Spike Lee's connection, you get Michael Jordan's connection. And this, you have, I think you have to have at least two mil, one million or either two million fans to do this, but fans are not really hard to come by in 2K, so it's not like that's going to be a big deal. you probably get that maybe by the All-Star break of your first season if you make an All-Star team. But anyway, this connection is going to take a long time. You get, for this connection, you get the historic dunk, Jordan Dunk package, you don't have to spend 5,000 VC on it, you get a signed jersey hanging up in your court, and then you get Terminal 23. This connection took forever for me. What I really saw, what the, I noticed that he popped up either at the beginning, the middle, at like the all-star break, or the end of the season before the playoffs started. So, I was trying to 99 my player, and I just happened to have a lot of off days at this point in the seasons. So that's what I did. I, I, actually got, I actually got it in one season, but this one does take a long time. So just be patient with that one. So yeah, just going back through it, you need Carmelo Anthony's connection, open up Spike Lee, Spike Lee, open up Michael Jordan, then you get Terminal 23, probably it... All in all, it should take you a couple seasons to get. I'm being 100% serious with this. Michael Jordan is known to take a long time for people. Like, there's there's people saying they hasn't gotten him in, like, forever. Like, they've been doing, like, three seasons and they still have to finish all the connections. I was just lucky I managed to get into one season. But it was very spread out. But I also recommend doing this if you're trying to 99 your player because it's... It basically works. You just don't have any other connections set up when you do this. Do not have, do not have anything else. Just Carmelo Anthony, then just have Spike Lee, and just have Michael Jordan. That's that's what I did to go through it, and it wasn't that hard actually. I just I just didn't. Even, I've kind of forgot I was doing it when I was 99 in my player, and I ended up getting a 99 and uh, Terminal 23, and I've, it was great. And uh, yeah, so that's how you get it. Just go through the connections. You need like a certain amount of fans to start out. Probably get that first couple weeks in uh, NBA career to get Carmelo. And then you just start grinding again. Like, this game is a lot of a grinding, but that didn't make any sense what I just said. Yeah, but that's basically how you get Terminal 23. If you need any more help with any of this, uh, just leave a comment below. If you need want me to tell you how to get something else, just uh, leave a comment. Maybe I'll make a little video about it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is Double T Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. Thank you guys for watching Double T Gaming. See you guys in the next video.